Oh my god, she's back. <laughs> I'd love to say that over the past year, I've taken all this spare time we have to focus on myself, you know, to change my life, to work out, to be productive. But that just was not gonna happen. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back. Is anybody there? Like, does anyone know I exist? It's been far too long, I'm aware of that. But, she's here, I'm alive. I swear I didn't fall off the face of the earth on purpose. <laughs> I just took a little break, you know? Just a, a little break. <laughs> I did just think I'd take a moment to kind of address where I've been um, and answer some of your questions because I know it's been a while, so. Here we are. I asked over on Instagram um, if you had any questions of general things that you wanted to know about what's going on or like how my life is, just to kind of update you all, I guess. So I'm gonna answer some of those, but I also just, I'm gonna talk. I'm just gonna talk. It's gonna just be a bit of a chat. Um, I really don't think I need to mention how much of a shit show the year that shall not be named has been. It has certainly been a roller coaster and I for one feel like I have just been kind of flying on autopilot for a year. <laughs> I honestly could not tell you really what's gone on. I've just kind of my way through it. <laughs> is, that, is that a good description? In the first lockdown everything seemed so new and so weird and then that weird kind of just became normal and all the days started blurring into one and before I knew it it had gone from March to August really really quickly and I was moving back to uni and seeing my friends again and we were allowed to do more, we were allowed to go out. Places like pubs and bars and hairdressers were all open um, and it kind of seemed like it was going back to normal. <laughs> Boy were we wrong. About four days after moving back to uni, I caught the virus I'd been spending the last half of a year avoiding. Yeah, not ideal. Um, but I have a video on that already on my channel from when it happened. Um, so if you want to know more about that, then go check that out. I did a Q and A on it and answered all your guys' questions. In October, all of our learning at university was moved online permanently. Well, for at least the rest of the year. Um, that was a whole other ball game that I had to try and work out. Since October, we've also had two new lockdowns. Who would have thought it? I didn't even really feel like we left the first one and then we got pushed into another. Then we had Christmas, which is lovely. And then we got chucked into another one and it was all just a bit crazy. <laughs> Between all of that, I've managed to meet some very lovely friends of mine. I'm so grateful that whilst I'm at uni, I have this little social bubble and I love them all to pieces and it's really helpful. We all live in studio flats, so we are allowed to mix with the social bubble. I think, is that four or is that six? Well, I've got four anyway. But because we all live on our own, we literally don't see anyone other than us four, which is great because, you know, living in a studio flat in these times, extremely difficult at points. Um, I'm quite good at being on my own and like having my own company. I always have just enjoyed that. Um, but the same can't be said for other people. I know there are a lot of people out there who thrive off of being able to see people, so people that live in studio flats definitely have had it hard this year that is for sure so yeah here we are 2021 a new year and as of the other day a brand new deadly virus strain has been found fabulous three weeks in three weeks in and it's already going downhill <laughs> no i have i don't have high expectations but i have hopes that this year is going to go well with all of that being said i did take a step back from kind of all things social media related really in October, mainly because I had spent so many hours on it in the first lockdown, like every hour of every waking day. Um, was just kind of spent on my phone, my screen time was through the roof. So yeah, um, I kind of just felt like I didn't need it at the point. It wasn't serving me anything, it wasn't helpful. It wasn't even for any particular reason, I just wasn't really in it anymore. And it's very difficult at times to create content when you're really not in it. The only really thing I did do since October was TikTok. 
that that's been fun i uh since like august had been stuck on harry potter tiktok i don't know if anybody else is on harry potter tiktok but from like august to december it's been amazing i've loved it i've loved harry potter ever since like i was small um so the fact that just this whole new side of creativity has been made from harry potter tiktok has been insane so i'll leave my tiktok down below if you want to go and check out the videos i've made let's just bear in mind that i'm a film student so i made it like my aim to make my tiktoks look as real as possible and like slotted myself in oh, this. So much time and effort, but it was so fun. I think I focused on TikTok because it was new. Like I'd done Instagram, I'd done YouTube, and I just, I didn't have any ideas necessarily. Whereas TikTok was a whole different ball game, something I'd never done before. Um, and then the fact that it was something that I loved, which was Harry Potter, and it like kind of gave me a, like something to power my creativity into. And especially being a film student, we have not made any films this year physically we've not filmed anything so it was also nice to have something i could put my skills into as just a bit of a hobby nothing of massive major importance has happened over the last couple of months um i've spent time with my friends here at uni where possible i have where physically possible seen my family like over christmas and stuff yeah i've just kind of been getting on with it really i realized in the first lockdown that I noticed myself trying to find things to do that would maybe fix the situation or like kind of act as if it wasn't happening because I was kind of in denial that, that was what was going on. I've just kind of accepted that this is my life and this is just what I'm going to have to deal with for the next year or so. And now I've got that acceptance, I'm kind of all right with it. I'm just, I don't really have, I've got a bit of a carefree attitude at the moment in the sense of like, oh there's nothing i can do to change it let's just do what we can not in the sense of going out partying and being illegal because that that's not what i meant i've just kind of been letting myself feel whatever i feel like if one day i feel angry at the situation like the day we got announced we're going into another lockdown in england we must therefore go into a national lockdown which is tough enough to contain this variant i was angry that day because i was just a bit like oh fabulous here we go again it's all ruined it was one of those days i just let myself feel like that and if i have a day where i feel sad i'll just let myself feel like that it's just life you just gotta do what you gotta do to get through i think that's what my main thing from this past year has just been just do what you gotta do to get through that's my mantra my routine royally screwed <laughs> i don't go to bed till like 4 a.m I don't get up till the afternoon. I spend more hours in bed than I do out of bed. Um, some days I want to eat everything in my kitchen cupboards and other days I feel physically sick that I don't want to eat at all. It's all just a bit crazy and to be honest, it's very normal. This is my life. This is how I'm choosing to get through it. It's been a crazy year and every single person deals with things like this differently. So yeah, oh, there we go. Um, I'm gonna go through the Instagram questions and see if there's anything that I haven't touched base on yet. Let's scroll, I've got some questions. Someone says, how are you? I've missed your videos so much. Thanks. I've missed, I have missed this to be fair. I've missed filming and editing. Now I feel like I actually got something to do <laughs> in a day. Oh, how exciting, something to do. I'm all right, I've kind of just explained how I am, but I'm okay, I'm good, I'm all right. Especially today, I feel good today. My friend Phoebe says, what are some of your goals for 2021? If you don't know who Phoebe is, if you're like new to my channel and haven't seen my university vlogs, she's one of my uni best friends. And we're moving in together and I'm so excited. Um, we get the keys to our flat in June. Fingers crossed, touch wood. That it all goes well. It's a guitar wooden. Is that wood or is that plastic? I could be so wrong. <laughs> I don't really know the answer to that question. Anyway, um, we get the keys to our, well, we get the keys to our flat in June, and then kind of moving things in and going from home to the flat over summer, and then fully properly moving in for third year in September, which is very exciting. And our flat, oh, it's so beautiful. You're not ready. You are not ready. So yeah, I guess that could be one of my goals. 
is move into the flat because it's probably the only attainable goal right now. <laughs> but other than that, I think just keep on doing what I'm doing. Just get through. It's the best goal to have because I know I will. I'll just get through. Just get through it all and it'll be all right eventually. This is not gonna, well, saying that, this isn't gonna last forever. Putting that out into the universe. Please don't make it last forever. <laughs> How are you finding the university workload? If you'd seen me last week. <laughs> oh dear. I came back to uni, I think three days before the third lockdown was put in place. Um, because I had university deadlines over those two weeks. So I was like, oh, I'll go back to uni early and I'll crack on and get some of them done. I sat in, well, this chair that I'm sat on now, but at my desk for seven days straight writing a 3,000 word essay. I got that done, handed that in. I then sat at that desk for another five days and handed in a 10 minute documentary and a 2,000 word essay. The documentary of which had been filmed over Zoom because we aren't physically allowed to go out and film anything. Just don't get me started because I'll go on a rant. <laughs> How are you finding online university? I hate it. It's terrible. It's absolutely awful. It's... <sighs> I feel your pain. How much is your accommodation? So for a studio flat that I'm in, I think the prices have changed this year. I want to say it's about £140 a week. I pay £136. Um, but I believe this year the prices have gone up. So it's 140-ish, give or take. How have you been doing generally since having a break? I hope you're okay. Thank you. Um, I'm okay. I hope everyone else is okay, by the way. Feel free to comment down below. Let's have a chat. I want to know how are you doing? Have you picked up any hobbies? Have you made any new friends? Have you done anything new? Where physically possible? Let me know. I want to know how you're coping down below. Let's have a conversation in the comments. Not sponsored by Starbucks, although if you wanted to. No question, but I'm glad you're taking a well-deserved break. Take care, can't wait till you're back. Thank you, that's very kind of you. How tall are you? And I really love your videos. <laughs> that's a very random question. I think I'm about five foot five, to five foot six, give or take. The last time I was measured was that I can remember the actual number was in year nine in high school and I was 168 centimeters then when I was 14. So I'm gonna take a guess and say I've grown a bit since then. And 169 centimeters is five foot five. And I've definitely grown since then. So I'm gonna suggest five foot six, but I could be wrong. How to cope with stress during these times? You're asking the wrong person, but just do what you've got to do. If you need to take a break from work, take a break. Just don't push yourself too hard. You can't expect yourself to be able to produce good quality work in times like this. You can do it, like it's possible, but just don't put that expectation on yourself because that's when you're gonna get stressed. So just take your time. I'm gonna go binge watch a ton of your videos while doing schoolwork. Oh, have fun, Anna. <laughs> How do you get out of a creative block and a creative degree? Pfft. Just muddle through it. It does sometimes feel like you're stuck in the mud and you're like trying, trudging your way through all this dirt, but just keep going because you'll get there eventually. Take a break, that's what I've done. Obviously with YouTube, I got into a creative block and I took a break and that's been quite helpful. In regards to creative block with your uni work, good luck. <laughs> anyway, that's all the questions. Well, there you go. <laughs> that's an update on where I've been. Anyway, I hope you guys are all really well and are staying safe. As I said earlier, comment some stuff in the comments. Let's have a chat. Um, I want to hear how you are, so let me know down below. That rhymed. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, I will see you guys super soon with a new video. Peace out, thanks a bunch, and goodbye. Oh my God, it's been like four months since I've said that. Ah, see you later.